things first, man. Did you get that tooth in? Um, I got a flipper in. Gotcha. When's the permanent one go in? Um, not until after the season. Gotcha. Okay. Talk about uh, how dialed in you guys were defensively from the get-go, and uh, was there a concerted effort there the way you guys started the last road game at Minnesota to make sure you came out strong that way? Yeah, we, were to make, we wanted to make him feel uncomfortable for a whole 94 feet for 40 minutes, and that's what we did. Um, we forced turnovers. We scored off turnovers, and that was a, that was a big emphasis on the game plan. So, Your next question comes from Connor Brennan from the Michigan Daily. Hey, Eli. Um, can you just talk a little bit about what it what it's like for Franz and Hunter to go, you know, six – for 18 from the field and you guys still win by double digits. Can you just talk a little bit about what that says about the team? Um, I think that just shows how deep we are and how many people are actually ready to play. And, um, one thing the coach says, what coach says is, you don't have, if you're ready, you don't have to get ready. And I think that's what our bench players um, really thrive on. Um, you saw the men, they're ready to go. Like Sean D. Terrence, Austin, they're ready to step up and make an impact on offensive defensive end. The next question is from Zach Shaw from the Michigan Insider. Hey, Eli, uh, you guys just keep winning. I'm, I'm just curious from your perspective as a senior, what, what impresses you the most about this team uh, so far this season? Um, I think just like nothing about the basketball and just like how many people get along, and how many people um, like just the energy in the locker room, everybody getting along, everybody thriving and cheering for each other. Um, there's a lot of there's a lot of energy on the bench, like from from everybody. Um, I think you saw it at the Minnesota game. We were down, but everybody one through five, every single starter was up cheering for Jace. Everybody that got subbed in was doing well. Um, I think I think just the connect how connected we are um, has been excellent. That's why we're doing so well. Your next question is from Andrew Kahn from M Live. Hey, Eli. Uh, Juan said that he asked players about, you know, their comfort level playing in this game. Do you, I guess, do you, do you remember that? And did any thought go through your head in, in regards to that before the game? Um, yeah, I thought about it. Um, mostly I just want to be there for everybody on the team and respect their decision of, of how they were feeling about the, the situation. But um, for me, um, they were transparent, everything – that we didn't know we knew um, and that allowed me to make my decision and everybody else to make their decision. Um, that's all you can ask because we're playing in a time uh, that's uncertain and if people are telling the truth and that's, that's the best way to do it. Um, and that goes a long way. Thanks. And then um, a question about Isaiah uh, in the last couple of games, he's just really been effective offensively in particular, I guess. Can you speak to how he balances you know, the aggressiveness versus the team philosophy of sharing the ball? Um, yeah. Um, he's a basketball player. He's a good basketball player at that. Um, so he understands when to, when to take take shots, when to drive it. Um, and he plays the right way. And I think everybody on the team plays the right way. There's no there's no mentality that you have to get a certain, a certain amount of set shots in a game. Um, he lets the game come to him. And when he's open, he shoots it. When he's not, he passes it, drives it, and gets other people involved. So um, it just keeps it simple. Thanks. Next question is from Ethan Sears from umhoops.com. Uh, yeah, Eli, obviously uncertainty is kind of a major theme of this season. Uh, I'm wondering if you could maybe just speak to that, you know, it, it, what's it like to kind of, I guess, um, travel here, uh, knowing, a, you know, that the situation is, is happening and maybe could change and, and it's just, you know, ongoing kind of. I mean, yeah, that's every game. When you, you go and prepare, like you're going to play a game no matter what. Um, so that was the mindset we took. We we're going to get here, do everything we would do on a regular game. And if we played, we were ready. If we didn't, we, we'll still be ready. Um, so that's the mindset we took. 